デデューレン。デデューデデューデデューデデューデデューデデュデデュデデュデデュデデュデデュデデュデデュデデュデデュデデュデデュデデュデデュデデュデデ My name is Matt, and I have two degrees. And friends, we have an official full length trailer for the new Steven Spielberg West Side Story film. And I am so excited. I think I speak for a lot of us when I say that I was always curious about this movie, but now that I've actually seen the trailer, like, I'm actually excited for this movie. So, this film, as I'm sure you know, was supposed to be released last Christmas, but it got delayed because, you know, everything but i think it was probably worth the wait because now we are going to get to see this film on the big screen and i cannot wait and it's been so interesting to me that spielberg is directing a west side story remake and i think a question that's been on a lot of people's minds is why why do we need this movie and i've kind of been asking myself that question and i don't think we need the movie, but I'm not going to say no to the movie. I think West Side Story is one of those things. It is a classic, yes, but I don't think the movie is a classic so much as the material is a classic. And the film is just a great time capsule of the material when it was still relatively new. But if you've ever tried to watch West Side Story with somebody who doesn't know the material that well, it's really hard to get them to take it seriously because of all the ballet, dancing, street gang members moving their way through New York. Now, I love the original film, but I am also here for a remake. I think the material is a classic in the way that, you know, some Shakespeare plays are classics. You can't have too many film adaptations of Hamlet. Well, you can, but people are still going to keep doing them, and you keep seeing them, because you want to see how a new director is going to interpret this classic material that everyone knows and loves. And even though Spielberg isn't the obvious choice for a West Side Story remake, I think he's a choice that makes sense. Just reading what the material means to him, he has a deep love and appreciation of Leonard Bernstein's music and just the original material as written. So I think that's the first thing that is the most important. Next, Spielberg is known for doing incredible tracking and moving shots throughout all of his films. And West Side Story, with all of its incredible dance numbers, is material that will absolutely benefit from that filmmaker's mentality. And on top of all of that, let's just acknowledge the elephant in the room. You look so cute today, whatever you're doing, it's working. Is that joke ever going to get old? I hope not. Um, but no, seriously, West Side Story is so much about Puerto Rican culture. And in the original film from the 60s, pretty much all of the sharks were being played by Caucasian actors in brown face. So obviously that's something about the original film that has not aged well. But it gets kind of complicated because you don't want to take away from how beautiful the performances are from Natalie Wood as Maria and George Shakaris as Bernardo. So I think that's one of the big reasons that merits us getting a new West Side Story film. To give Latinx actors the opportunity to embody those roles. From what I understand, the majority of the actors playing the sharks in Spielberg's West Side Story do actually have Puerto Rican heritage. And I think that is going to make a massive difference in reinterpreting this story. Not to mention the fact that Rita Moreno, the Oscar-winning actor who played Anita in like the 1960s West Side Story, is actively involved in the remake as an executive producer and they also rewrote a role for her. I'm almost positive that she's playing Doc, but like a reworked Doc. And Rita Moreno is this incredible voice for representation and I like, I'm just so thrilled to see her actively involved in bringing West Side Story back to a new audience. I cannot wait. So with all that said, I think there are a lot of valid reasons for a West Side Story remake. Something that I found very entertaining just about this movie is that nobody asked for it. It's not featuring any A-list stars. It is being made purely because Spielberg is at that point in his career where he can just say, I am the name. You will watch whatever I make. And he's right, people will. That's honestly the goal as a director. Hashtag Spielberg goals. So I'm gonna do something that I haven't done on the channel yet, which is a trailer reaction. 
And it takes a very special trailer for me to do a trailer reaction because usually I don't think there's that much to react to, but this trailer has a lot to react to. I mean, uh, Sondheim said recently in an interview that if you watch this film and you already know West Side Story, there are going to be some surprises. And that excited me so much. And I don't think this trailer gives away that much in terms of spoilers, but there's a little bit to work off of. So without further ado, let's watch the trailer. Okay, so much that I love in just the first couple of seconds. Visually, it's giving us some throwbacks to the original film. Just with the, the fire escape and the laundry, it looks like a shot from the 60s. But then all of a sudden we get this beautiful close-up of Rachel Zegler as Maria. There's just such a pure simplicity to having her sing tonight a cappella. And just what I love is right off the bat, they are showing us our new Maria. And I love Natalie Wood and I think she was great, but it makes such a difference to the story to have an age-appropriate Maria. Now, when Natalie Wood made West Side Story, she was, I would wager, probably around 22 or 23. Rachel Zegler, when this was being shot, I think she was somewhere between 16 to 18. She was an actual teenager. And it's something really that applies to like West Side Story, but also Romeo and Juliet. The love story makes such a difference when you have actual teenagers going through the motions of the story. So that casting decision alone, I am 100% on board for. And just hearing that iconic West Side Story whistle, I can't do it. So good. Okay, moving on. This is my first time in New York City. I want to be happy here. I want to make a life at home. Okay, I know that Rachel Zegler was born and raised in America. But I just, I buy her accent so much more than Natalie Wood's. And it's not gonna be a competition, no disrespect to Natalie Wood, but this is what I was saying. The cultural authenticity here speaks volumes, just in a few seconds. Oh, okay, more. Are you ready? Tonight is about family. The first gringo boy who smiles at you. Okay, I have to give a shout out to Bernardo. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of biased. Bernardo is kind of my favorite character. I've always been very pro Capulet when it comes to Romeo and Juliet. Tybalt, King of Cats, and Bernardo is like the West Side Story equivalent to Tybalt. But also, when I was in high school, I was in two productions of West Side Story and I was turned down for Bernardo for both of them, but I really wanted to be Bernardo. So Bernardo is a character that I love. And I, like, I'm thrilled, first off, to see that he's being played by a Canadian, David Alvarez. Well done, David. But they're also giving us a more playful, softer side of Bernardo that I don't feel we get in the stage production or the original film. When I think of Bernardo, I think of a very serious, very stoic character, but just purely based on these two or three lines that we get of him saying, are you ready? And like the first gringo boy that smiles at you, like he's being playful. You can tell that he loves his sister and that he prioritizes family. And I think that's very hand in hand with the Bernardo that we've always had but it's just showing us a softer side to him that I think will make it that much more tragic when he dies. Oh, spoiler alert. M moving on. You know, I wake up to everything I know either getting sold or wrecked or being taken over by people that I don't like. Okay, this is why I love this line. I feel like for the first time, I have some understanding of where the Jets are coming from. Every time I watch West Side Story, or I'm in West Side Story, it always feels like the story of a bunch of immigrants coming to a new country, fighting to make their way and just to rebuild their lives, simultaneous with a bunch of whiny brats who don't want to share. And I'm sorry, but like that's just how I've always seen the Jets. 
this single line is hopefully an indication that the film is going to give us a little bit more insight into what the Jets are actually fighting for. I mean, even just having heard this, it makes me understand Riff a little bit more. It's not so much that he doesn't want to share, but his entire livelihood, like his life, everything that's familiar, is suddenly being threatened. And I think that is what it takes for West Side Story to work. As audience members, we have to be sympathetic to what the Sharks are fighting for and what the Jets are fighting for. And then the tragedy is when you realize that they can't get what they both want. And then the tragedy is even furthered when the Jets make some terrible choices that pretty much make them irredeemable in my eyes. I'm very interested to see how Spielberg approaches that scene. If you know West Side Story, you know what I'm talking about. Moving on. Okay, we only saw the back of his head, but that was Lieutenant Shrank, played by Corey Stoll, and Lieutenant Shrank is the role that I played in high school, and it is the worst role to cast a teenager in in their high school production of West Side Story, because then everyone else gets to have fun singing and dancing and doing all these cool fight scenes, and then you have to pick four people that in the eyes of the drama department aren't strong enough singers or dancers to just be the adults that rain on everyone's parade. So I'm still kind of bitter that I was cast as Lieutenant Shrank in high school, but the fact that he's being played by Corey Stoll, who's one of my favorite actors, makes me very happy. I mean, we only saw the back of his head, but outstanding performance, Corey. You keep doing what you're doing. You keep away from him as long as you're in my house. I'm a grown-up now, Bernardo. I'm gonna think for myself. I find this fascinating. Because the fact that Bernardo says, as long as you're in my house, that seems to imply that Bernardo is the head of the family. Which works pretty well with West Side Story as it already exists, because we never see Maria and Bernardo's parents. And it's not that they're dead. I'm almost positive during the balcony scene that one of them calls to Maria to come inside. So, like, they're there. We just don't see them. It makes the story that much stronger if Bernardo is the one who has to look out for his little sister in the absence of their parents. And I've always kind of wondered, like, what is the deal with Bernardo and Anita? Like, how old are they? What is their responsibility? I'm hoping the movie answers those questions. And I think that would just up the stakes between that relationship with Maria and Bernardo. Because then, her defying Bernardo, it's almost like that classic Little Mermaid thing of, but daddy, I love him. But then it's like, but Nardo, I love him. I think this is the most excited I've ever been about fictional parents potentially being dead. Moving on. Tony. We need you if we're going to war. Okay, I'm not clear on why we're in a warehouse and why there's bright lights. This is the only part of the trailer that feels extremely theatrical to me. It almost feels like I'm watching one of those like late 1990s pro shoots of an Andrew Lloyd Webber musical like Jesus Christ Superstar or whatever, but I'm interested to see how it works. I mean, this is obviously the rumble scene, so ah, like I don't know how I feel about the rumble being lit so brightly. It's a dark, gritty scene. It, ah, we'll see. Bold choice, Spielberg. Bold choice. If you go with him, no one will ever forgive you. I love Ariana DeVose. Oh, also that shot of them in the church. It looked stunning. I just think that is such a cool shot where Riff and Tony are fighting over the gun. Like I said, Spielberg is so good with tracking shots and moving shots and just the intensity of that moment of like, bleh, bleh, bleh. can't wait. Can't. Life matters even more than love. This sequence of a few shots just excites me so much. The use of color, the use of movement, like, I think this is going to be a visually spectacular film. I had to pause it just to say that. And to look at this really beautiful image. Ah. Moving on. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, that's it. Just West Side Story. Okay. December. I'm so excited for December. Also, it's rated PG-13. What that tells me is that this movie is not shying away from anything. The first reason it says it's rated PG-13, strong violence. I think that's the thing with the original West Side Story where some people are lost, is that the 1961 West Side Story, the violence is, like, it walks the line between being a dance and being a fight. And dance is definitely a strong part of West Side Story, but... For the story to work, for the West Side story to work, you need that element of danger. You need that element of strong violence. So Spielberg's not shying away. And like this trailer, if it's any indication of the film, which like that's the point of a trailer, so hopefully it is, I can't wait to see it in its full glory. I am so hoping that we get at least one more trailer or maybe even a short scene from the film before the actual movie releases in December, but I think it's obvious. This might be the film that I am most excited for this year. I mean, after Jungle Cruise, <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, friends, this concludes yet another episode of Teacup 41. Now, let me know in the comment section down below, what did you think of the West Side Story trailer? Are you excited for the film? Do you think we need a remake? Sound off all of your thoughts. And if you want to be the first to know when I release more videos talking about musicals, Disney, Shakespeare, Cats, sometimes Funko Pops, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed already, it is so easy. All you have to do is click on my face. Thanks for joining me again today, everyone. My name is Matt, and I have two degrees, and that's the tea cup for one. Go away.